Hey there, Parker Reed here, and welcome to Pete R Media, your home for everything movies and music, through my eyes. And today we have a review of the new 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray edition of Tenet. Tenet is a 2020 science fiction action thriller film written and directed by Christopher Nolan, who produced it with Emma Thomas. A co-production between the United Kingdom and the United States, it stars John David Washington, Robert Pattinson, Elizabeth Debicki, Dimple Capadia, Michael Caine, and Kenneth Branagh. The film follows a secret agent played by David Washington as he manipulates the flow of time to prevent World War III. So going into this review, I have seen Tenet quite a few times. I've seen it four times now. In fact, I saw it opening day in a normal 2D projection, and then I saw it in IMAX in the Twin Cities in Minnesota with a friend of mine, and then I saw it again in a different theater in Milwaukee, which had a bit of a better setup than a normal theater, but it wasn't IMAX. And then I watched it again at home on 4K Ultra HD, so I feel very prepared, even though after all four of those watch-throughs, I only understand about 80% of the plot still, so it might take a couple more viewings before I fully grasp what happened in Tenet. And I did enjoy the film for the most part, sure, the, after the first couple times I had a splitting headache and I had to watch about like three different explain videos to get what happened because I don't really latch on to time travel movies and understand really what's going on the whole time, but I understand for the most part nowadays. And as far as new releases go in 2020, it's been pretty bare for the amount of 4K releases we've been getting. We've got a lot of catalog titles, but overall this is the biggest new release that's come to 4K this year. So this release is getting a lot of attention and it has some controversy attached to it too, so let's get into it and see what you going to get if you decide to pick up Tenant on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. So if you decide to pick up Tenant on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray in the United States, you do have two different versions to choose from. I have the standard edition slipcover here as well as the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. So let's see what you'll get if you decide to pick up either of these versions. So first let's take a look at the standard edition slipcover and we have this iconic poster art here. This is pretty much used for the majority of marketing for Tenant and is a nice matte slipcover. And on the back we have some special features as well as some information about the film and technical specs. And the artwork is the same on the actual case itself. And if you open it up, the first thing you get is a digital download code, and it is first come, first serve on that. And we do have some cool disc artwork here. Here is the Blu-ray disc, Then here is the standard 4K disc. But what's frustrating to me about the 4K disc is that when it is stacked on top of the Blu-ray features disc, and I don't like stacking, especially when I pay 30 bucks for something, give me a, a tray or something. That's a little bit frustrating knowing that that could get scratched soon. Next up is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook, and we have some cool imagery on the front here of Robert Pattinson and John David Washington. And on the back we have another shot of John David Washington from the film. And then here is what the spine looks like. And here is the front, back, and spine of the Tenet Best Buy steelbook. And here is another digital download, so first come, first serve on that. And the steelbook does a better job by not stacking the discs. So for example, here's the special features disc, then here's the 4K disc, and then again here there is the Blu-ray disc. And here is the inside of the Best Buy exclusive exclusive steelbook. So for visuals on Tenet, we have native 4K, and this is actually downscaled because Christopher Nolan filmed this with a higher resolution to 4K, so this is actually a downscale as far as quality goes. We'll probably get an 8K release of it someday, and it uses a mixture of different aspect ratios. There's a lot of IMAX sequences that are in full screen, then it shifts to widescreen, and then kind of a mix between the two. So it's going to be popping in and out, sometimes in the same scene. So if that distracts you at all, be aware of it. But overall, the picture on this is absolutely immaculate. The detail on everyone's faces and the scenery and the special effects are amazing. Overall, from a visual standpoint, this looks immaculate. Were well, the different IMAX ratios a little annoying sometimes? Sure, but you don't really notice it, especially in a two and a half hour movie, you forget about it after a while. But every time the IMAX sequences came up, I was very excited because it reminded me of Dunkirk and The Dark Knight when they would shift to IMAX sequences and how much more immersive that was than the standard widescreen. So overall, the visuals on this are stunning and some of the best of the year. All of Christopher Nolan's movies have great cinematography and it's very realistic, even though the plot that they're dealing with isn't the most realistic in the world. So for visuals on Tenet, very impressive. But when we start to deal with audio, that's when the controversy starts to play in. So we're using a DTS H Master Audio 5.1 mix on this and it sounds loud. It sounds bombastic. It is so loud in fact. I had to turn it down about halfway from what I would normally do in a 4k movie because it was so loud and even at that point my subwoofer and my soundbar started to shake the couch that I was sitting on. It's so damn loud and it reminds me of being back in the theater so I enjoyed that experience of it. I don't think it needed a Dolby Atmos track especially after I hear the DTS mix because it sounds so damn good the entire time but... 
we have some other stuff to discuss. So a big controversy about this movie when it first came out in theaters was the fact that the audio track, you couldn't hear a lot of the dialogue that was going on. Some scenes felt like people just mumbling to each other because the sound effects and the other ambient sounds in there are so loud that you can't really hear what they're saying. And Christopher Nolan has acknowledged that was a problem people had in the theaters, but it's not fixed here. It's the same problem. And I think it was more noticeable here at home than it was in the theater because the theater is so loud. Even when dialogue isn't mixed as high, you can still hear it because there's like 26 speakers surrounding your head but when you only have a couple right in front of you that's when the problem came in and it wasn't a problem for me personally because I've seen the movie three times prior to actually watching it at home but for people who haven't seen it before that's going to be a problem because this is a movie you really have to pay attention there's a lot of intricate details there's a lot of plot twists there's a lot of reshaping the story as it goes along so you're going to want to turn on subtitles if you really want to grasp this movie the first time around at home but if you just want a big epic and don't want to have to read text the entire time you might have to look up a plot summary afterwards to figure out what happened but overall that was very frustrating frustrating. The dialogue is the biggest frustrating part of this. Everything else sounds great and looks great, but that dialogue is quite frustrating, honestly. So would I recommend Tenet on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray? Even with the audio problems, I'm going to say yes, it's a day one pickup. This is the biggest high profile release that's come out in 2020. And sure, you might not want to support Warner Brothers right now because of all the controversy that they're going through with putting all their movies simultaneously in theaters and on streaming next year. I get it, but that's not Christopher Nolan or Tenet's fault. So support this release. Sure, it's a bit pricey, but it is one of the most impressive movies I've seen in quite a while and one I really enjoyed that came out this year. So with the holidays coming around, I have to recommend a day one pickup. So pick up Tenet on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, recommended by me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw here, you can check us out on Facebook or Instagram. Like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose. My name is Parker Reed. You've been watching PR Media. Keep supporting physical media, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. You want to crash a plane? But not from the air. No one's so dramatic. Well, how big a plane? That part is a little dramatic.